Quick video here, we're gonna go through the anatomy of a planter. I'll do a longer video later, going more in depth, but we'll keep this one short. So first line of defense here, you got the trash wheels. So as these spin, this is your first line of defense on the planter, right? That's the first thing that the soil is gonna come into contact with. And as it does, these things will spin and any, any debris, any residue, especially in corn ground, you'll have corn stalks. These are, this is soybean stubble, so not as crazy, but it flips any residue out of the way and makes a nice clean path for a seed bed. All right, so once, once all the debris and residues out of the way, you've got your disc openers here. The disc openers will spin and see how they're kind of closed in the front but then if you look in the back, they open up. So as they turn, they make a, a trench or a furrow for the seed to fall into. So let's get down here. And here you got the, the seed tube. See a little opening right, right there. So the seed will fall down. So you got the seed in the box. It falls down through the meter. This is where the top of the seed tube is. So it falls down into the seed tube and falls into that furrow that was just created by your disc openers. And then following the seed tube, you've got the seed firmer, which gently pushes down on the seed after it falls into the furrow and makes it nice and snug into the soil and maintains good seed to soil contact. Uh, so the seed's not just like kind of floating there. It's actually kind of snug down in the soil. So next up, you've got your gauge wheels. And this is what adjusts the height of the planter, right? So these raise and lower. And you've got dog ears right here is what these are called. And the dog ears, you adjust the height with this guy. So when you push this forward, it'll make it plant more shallow. And so this gauge wheel is going to hit the dog ear and it's not gonna be able to go up as much. But if we wanna plant deeper, we bring this back, and now you can plant a lot deeper. It lets the, the planter sit a lot lower. Uh, last but not least, you have your closing wheels. This is what closes in the furrow. It closes in the trench, uh, cover, throwing dirt over the seed so the seed can grow. So that's essentially it. Um, and then you've got little things like, like this. This sets the pressure, it tells it, how much pressure do you want to put down on the closing wheel? So if I take the pressure completely off, this thing will just kind of float. But if I put, oh no, I can't lift it at all. So how much pressure do you want to put down? So in a nutshell, that's a quick glance 